Hey everyone, this is Thomas Mark Zuniga, and this is the Facebook. No, this is not the Facebook. This is Tom. Hey, this is Thomas Mark Zuniga. My name is Tom, and oh, my middle name is Mark, and. Uh... My last name is too crazy to pronounce. Uh, hey everyone, this is Tom Zaniga, and you're watching The Novel Chronicles. It's a name right here on Facebook. Alright, hey everybody. This is Tom. I am back and balder than ever. Pretty much. Um, it's been three weeks now. It's been three weeks now, but we're back. Episode four, and it was pointed out to me recently. And uh, I saw myself as I was rewatching my episodes uh, the other day. Um, I do this a lot. Episode four, three weeks. Episode two, two weeks. I'm trying to try to um, trying to try to stop that uh, after this episode, episode four. So we are in episode four. Episode 4 of the Novel Chronicles, and it's been an 11 week journey so far. And uh, I won't recap, I think the past couple episodes I've been recapping what the past several weeks have been all about. But um, if you're interested in the past 11 weeks, and this is your first experience with me in TNC land, then uh, just go back and rewatch the first three episodes. Even if you haven't, it's epic, epic viewing, I think. So um, it's been three weeks since my last check-in, and uh, let's just waste no time. Let's uh, go on our little our little bi-weekly trek to the board. I think the last time I checked in, get all dizzy here. Last time I checked in, I had 23, around 23,000 words, something like that. I fell short of my 25,000 word goal, but I'm um, here now. And um, I'm past 25,000 words now. Let's see exactly where I lay. There we go. 31,654. Let's get closer now. Excellent, excellent. And let's go to my milestone words. I had a good one at 25,000. Cloud. Check that out. 30,000. Can't get any more boring than and. But... Uh, Finally, out of all my words, finally I had an interesting one with 25,000 cloud. And I'm going to share that with you as I promised. Um, get back into position here. Um, I'm going to share with you where where that word fell under, which sentence anyway. Here we go, let's see. Got it right, right on screen here so I can uh, get it right. And I'm telling you what, this is going to reveal a lot. This is going to reveal everything. Here's where Cloud fell under. He gulped back his saliva and focused on a passing cloud as his thoughts shifted back to Liz. And I just gave it away. I just gave the whole story away right there, I tell you what. But um, a huge, huge accomplishment getting to 25,000 words. Um, just a huge, big number, and I'm glad that I finally, finally hit it. Um, but even bigger than that, last night, I reached my biggest milestone of all when I finished, finished part one of the novel's first draft. Part one in the books. Starting on Monday, I delve into part two. And I will re-explain this. My novel is split into three sections. First section and the second sec section are kind of like uh, they're joined together and in some ways but they're kind of separate as far as what's going on in the story and then starting with the third part those two parts kind of come together so um, in some ways starting on Monday I'm going to be starting over again I've been so wrapped up in part one and what's been going on in part one and now I'm kind of turning the new page and going into part two but um, I'm excited also I'm excited also to get into part two and uh, 
kind of recharge now with this huge foundation behind me of part one. So it's exciting, exciting stuff. And uh, my goal for this next section until the next TNC or, or NC, I'm not sure how I abbreviate that yet. But um, next time I check in, I hope to be finished with part two. And that's going to be in two weeks. Two weeks. And then I hope to finish uh, part three by September. September. And today is August 1st. So if you look at that, I've got 31 days to finish parts two and three. That's a lot. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to require a lot more than an hour a day, which I've been committing so far. Um, but I think I can do it. I finished my job. Finished my long, my long three-year tenure at uh, at my job on yesterday, actually. So um, should have a lot of free time on my hands. I'm definitely, I'll be looking for work again eventually. But for right now, I'm content to just uh, be a unemployed bum and uh, work on this novel. What else is there to do, you know? So I feel like I'll have a lot of extra time to uh, to uh, work on work on this now. So I think it's definitely possible to finish. Finish my first draft by the month of September, and then we'll go from there. Um, for all you TNC hardcore followers, um, I've been doing clues every episode, and uh, some of you have done well to figure out the clues. Some of you are uh, <laughs> some of you are still scratching your head after that first one. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be a saint for all of you right now. I'm going to do a clue recap. And uh, hopefully, re-explain things better if you uh, missed it, missed it the first time. So uh, let's waste no time diving into episode one's clue, where um, basically at the end of the episode, I told you you'd been listening to the clue the whole episode. And um, for those of you who have no idea what that meant, there was a background song playing. There's a background song every time I talk in one of these videos, but in particular. The first episode's background song was very key, very important, because um, it's kind of like the framework song, a framework song for this story. And I actually hope to include this song in the story um, in part three, I believe. I'm still trying to figure out how that's going to work, but I would really like to include the song in the book if I can. And uh, the song is none other than Coming Back to Life by Echoing Angels. Coming back to life. Coming back to life. It uh, that definitely says a lot about what's going on in the story, and I can't say any more than that right now. But yes, clue one: coming back to life by Echoing Angels. Clue number two: I held up this little object right here. Um, I called it a rock originally, but I had to clarify: it's not a rock; it's a stone, a white stone. White stone, clue number two, and uh, I won't go back into how I discovered this object, but um, you can watch episode two for that. White stone was clue number two. Clue number three, um, clue number three was interesting. I had numbers flying around. I had like a number come down, and then I had a number fly down no, this way. I think um, it might help if I modify those numbers a little bit. The first number to come across the screen was a two. And the second number to come across the screen was a 17. Might help if I put a colon in between the two. Two colon 17. That should help you a lot right there. And then in addition to that, if you go back into episode three and watch the word I say when uh, those numbers first appear on screen, that could give you a clue as what to do with those numbers. So, those are the first three clues wrapped up. And you're probably expecting a fourth clue coming into this episode. But uh, you think after I explain all that, then I'm going to give you yet another clue? You're dreaming. Dreaming. You guys are dreaming. Um, we're going to close things off, this action pack. I've done a lot this episode. We're going to close this one off with um, me telling you guys about a new segment I would like to do from here on out. A new segment I would like to call Ask the Chronicler. Ask the Chronicler. Um, a lot of you have questions for me and I oftentimes, you know, shut you down or turn you down. Um, 
but I would love you to ask me things and I would love to be able to answer them. So after this video is posted, feel free to comment. It has to be a comment, it can't be like a private secret message. Um, if you have a question about the novel that you would like me to answer, ask away. But here's a clue about uh, success as far as your questions go. Don't ask me anything overtly specific. If you ask me what the title of my novel is, I'm not going to be inclined to tell to tell you guys what that is just yet. But um, if you have a question about this Liz person that I mentioned earlier, um, I might be inclined to tell you a little bit about Liz, or you know, just anything anything semi semi broad or semi specific. Nothing overtly overtly specific. So. Ask the Chronicler, hopefully in two weeks when I do my next episode, we get a bunch of questions. I don't know if I'd answer like every question or if I'd just pick one. I'm not sure how it'll work yet, but um, I guess we'll see how the participation goes. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Part one is done. Part two, beginning Monday, I take off with that. And uh, hopefully in two weeks, I check back in with, with you guys and uh, part two is in the books. So. It's been exciting, it's been exciting, I can't wait to keep going. It's been a fun summer filled with all these writings and uh, looking forward to uh, hopefully wrapping up this first draft by the end of the month. So that's it for TNC or NC, The Novel Chronicles, Episode 4. Episode 5 is coming in two weeks. Hope you'll be back then. Until then, adios.